Greetings fellow gaming fans, this is Small Archangel, welcome back to Rising World. As you can see, I have placed a Beware the Bear sign by our lake house here, and also a life preserving ring, just because I thought it seemed kind of appropriate, really. Um, <laughs> this lake is completely infested with bears, so uh, that's just to remind myself not to get my, uh, my rear end bitten as I'm swimming across the lake. Probably should have a sign saying, no swimming really as well but uh, there you go okay so much as i love this house it is finally time to leave this place i have been threatening to build hello i have been threatening to build a castle for some time now and i intend to uh i intend to get on with that if you were watching the last episode you'll know that we finally found ourselves a location to build um it is somewhere in that direction to uh, well, east, by the look of it, I'm assuming that this compass faces, that's north, so it's to my east, um, and uh, I have got in my inventory as much stuff as I can cram, or almost, I'm going to gather some apples with that, just so that I've got some more food, we've got some bacon here, but I'm going to get some apples as well, they're, they're readily available en route, because we're not going to be able to, well, we're basically, we're going to have to keep ourselves alive with that while we're, uh, while we're building, it's going to be a big project, and we've got a tent here, and then I've got just basically a starter pack of things that we're going to need, including a chest to put stuff in, and uh, our workbenches, our basic workbenches as well. So, without further ado, we should probably head in this direction. I'm going to keep my uh, pickaxe in my hand, and then we can gather a bit more stone on route if we need to, although to be honest, I don't think I've got space, have I? Not really, in which case, I'll keep my battle axe in my hand. We'll say farewell to Lakeside, uh, though I'm sure uh, we'll be able to come back any old time we like. It's not like we're going to lose this particularly. So uh, it's a little bit of a journey over to, uh, over to the big lake that we found. So uh, in the interests of making the video a little bit less long and a little bit less tedious, I will see you guys when we get there. Here we are. And I think we can spot a little bit of coal there as well, which is good because we're going to need coal to run our furnace. One of the first things we're going to get set up and running in our castle is our smithy so that we can create the other things that we need to run and build the castle but first we're gonna need somewhere to build our castle now the reason I wanted to come here to this huge lake which we can roughly barely see the opposite side of even uh, is because I want my castle to have a moat I want to have a reason to use that drawbridge um, and this is going to make an excellent moat, a very, very large moat. Unfortunately, and this is a bit of a shocker, folks, we're going to have to start out by using the creative menu. Now, now creative mode. Uh, and that is because while the developers have given us a bucket, that really isn't going to help us very much to create uh, an island to build our our castle on if we had a you know if we dug a mountain we could credibly fill it with a bucket it might take us a few uh, years but we could do it but to make an island not really not without drowning so if something's worth doing it's worth doing right so we're going to head to creative mode and the first thing we're going to do is start by making some sort of island and I'll make it as natural looking as I can and then we can get to work.
that's it then. From here on in, we're going to be using just our normal tools. That is as much cheating as we are going to do, if at all possible. So hopefully we will have a big enough area here now to call home for our castle. We're going to need a fairly large amount of space. I might possibly have to add to it. I'm not 100% sure, but I will try not to. I don't want to make the castle too big anyway, because uh, if we do that, it's just going to become a really agonizing thing to try and build. It's going to become extremely large indeed. Uh, now, the first thing we need to do, we need to set up our little work area. And I've placed grass on here just, you know, for authenticity's sake. Um, let's see. I know we can replant grass if we really want to. And we can replace these wherever we want, we like as well. Ultimately, they'll be, in a, they'll, they'll be in a smithy, of course. But for the moment, they're just going to be stuck here. And then we're going to place our chest here as well. And that means that we're going to be able to go and gather more materials if we need them. And we've got somewhere to put stuff as well. Fab. Okay. Now, what we're going to be doing with the rest of this episode basically is focusing on making a bridge that will enable us to get from here across to the land. Now, obviously, one of the reasons I really want to make a castle is because I want to test out that drawbridge. I want to make a drawbridge. So eventually that over there is going to be uh, we're going to have a drawbridge access here. So we're going to have a gatehouse here, which will have a drawbridge on it. And so we'll probably have to level the terrain on both sides of this. So I might have to use creative menu again, just on the other side there to make sure that we are level. Um, but that is all. Because if, if the terrain here is not level, now we have a slight problem with a massive dip in the ground there. There we go. And I'm not sure how much we can do really to make it properly level here. But for today, we're going to just try and, and see if we can do this without cheating. So I don't like cheating in this survival games. Come on now. You get, just about get out there. There we go. OK, so we're going to go to our block bench. And we're going to see if we can find some appropriate blocks now to build a castle what we really really need is huge blocks of dressed stone now we don't really have that this is stone but i know from experience if you place it it basically is just totally homogenous there's no sign of any seams or anything so it's not going to look like bricks it's just going to look like a stone raw stone surface We've got stone bricks here but none of them are very big they're all pretty small really and that doesn't yeah that looks more like sort of a farmhouse than uh than an actual castle this one here might possibly be uh, but it still is not that big not for a castle but that's probably a contender that's probably one of the leading contenders um let's just have a look now sandstone well we need sandstone for that anyway and we haven't got very much of it i don't think there's anything particularly uh good in here it's all too modern looking and then the only other thing is concrete plates. Now, I don't know if there's anything that looks sort of like stone blocks in here. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, not so much. That, again, is kind of homogenous and nothing looks particularly brick-like there. That certainly doesn't. So I think that's probably it, really. Uh, plaster, we haven't got any there. Tiles, I don't think we've got any tiles that'll look like blocks of stone either, do we? No, I don't think so. So in point of fact, I think it's going to have to be these stone bricks here. So we're just going to make a bunch of those and we're going to have to make quite a few of them, I think. Uh, and we might be able to accent them with some smaller ones like these ones, for example. Are there any other ones that are going to tie in with that nicely? 
not sure. Uh, yeah, they probably will, but I will leave that for the moment. Maybe those ones. Yeah, maybe those ones. I don't know. Well, we'll leave that for the time being. Um, but what we're going to have to do is make our bridge here. So I've got those there. Okay. And obviously we're on a diagonal. Obviously. Looks like night has caught up with us though. So I will place my tent over here. No, not in the way. Let's place it here. And we will sleep the night away because we don't have any lighting here just yet. And then we'll carry on building in the morning. Okay, here we go. So. Alright, so we're going to need our bridge to be this height, which is the top level of the terrain. So we'll start out by doing that. And we'll see if we can drag this across here. Sometimes they just don't play nice though, and they don't want to do that, and this is one of those times when click and drag doesn't seem to want to work. Oh yeah, that's not what I meant. Never mind. Probably because I haven't built any supports yet. But we kind of need to get the bridge going across first before we can build any supports. Which seems like a backwards way around of doing it, but in this game you can do that. We just need to make sure that the level is accurate. Okay. Okay, so that is actually fairly low. So what I might probably do actually, because obviously the floor level here is going to be a little bit sort of higher than that anyway. What I might do is make this a little bit higher. And it's not quite where we'd wanted it to go, but that doesn't matter too much. There we are. Okay, so that gives us the basis of our bridge and as I say at the moment we're going to just have the bridge going all the way across regardless. Ultimately what we'll have here is a drawbridge but until we've actually built our gatehouse and we have some clue as to what the drawbridge, you know, how big the drawbridge is and things, um, once we know how big the drawbridge is, that's going to make life a little bit easier with regard to knowing, you know, sort of <laughs> how it fits in, really. Uh, but until then, yeah, we're going to have to. Um, there we go. We're going to have to. Uh, we're going to have to just kind of play it by ear a little bit. So that's going to be the height of our flooring just there. And now we can think more about placing the supports for this. Preferably without drowning. Now, I don't know how deep this goes. Oh my word. Stupidly deep. Okay. Strictly speaking, I'm not sure if we really need to go all the way to the bottom of the lake to place these supports. Looks to me like the first one should probably be about here. Realistically.
one more to finish the job off. So we'll do that and then I don't think that's entirely finished just yet. It doesn't look quite finished somehow. Oh no, I think I need two more. It's even more annoying. There we go. And we need one more on the other side. There we are. And then obviously it's not finished because we haven't finished the walkway in the middle, but uh, I think, yeah, it doesn't look quite, doesn't look quite right, doesn't look quite finished somehow. So I'm just going to switch this over. Yes. I think that gives it a little something of what it was lacking. So basically I've widened it just a tad um, by placing these sort of buttress, I suppose. I've got, I'm going to put a buttress on each of the legs of the bridge like that. And then we're going to have a slightly castellated top to it like that because heck, this is going to be a castle. So let's do this right and have a bridge that reflects its castly nature. So we're going to need a bunch of these. I have no clue how many, to be honest with you. Uh, so we'll just make oh, some. Uh, and then we're also going to need oops, some of these as well. So we'll make the same amount of those. So we need this to go oops, pretty much all the way along. Except that we need it to be a little bit lower on the other. There we go. And we need them to be a bit lower wherever there's a support. So like that. There we are. Nope, I can't get out there. I should have made this a little bit more convenient to get in and out of, but I didn't think. And then we're going to need some of these and one on there. And we're probably best served doing this from the top side. And then we have to repeat the whole process on the other side, which I'll see if I can do before nightfall. Well, needless to say, of course, I didn't get it done before nightfall because the days in this game are way too short. I know they say Rome wasn't built in a day, but quite honestly, the days in this game are so short, you can't build a shack. Oops, you can't even build a tent in a day. Well. You can just about manage that. But, uh... Oh, and one more. There we go. Now, what I might do, I'm going to take these out because they are not what I intended to put there. And we need a contrasting block for our... Uh, for the ground here. Now this part of the bridge here is eventually going to be trapdoor or tr um, drawbridge. Um, so that's going to be wood obviously but the rest of it does need to be stone. So we're going to go and see if we can find something suitable. That we might find a useful somewhere in the castle but probably not here. That might actually look quite good. Let's just make a few blocks of that and see what that looks like at the other end. Oh, 
I actually quite like that. I think that's a nice contrast. I think that's nice. I like that. Okay, we're going to go with that. We're going to get blocks of that and we're going to fill in the ground with that. Um, at this end, I guess I'll just leave it for the moment because, as I say, any any filling in I do there is just going to be a bit of a waste of stone at this point. As it is, I am probably going to have to... I'm going to need more than that, let's face it, but let's... Uh, one bit at a time. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to have to go and do a lot of grinding for stone and things like that. Uh, I mean, I know I... We got a lot of stone from our quarry um, at the farmhouse, but uh, as much as possible, I'm going to try and be self-sufficient here and not go back. Apart from anything else, it's a blooming long way, actually. Oh, uh, when I said I was going east, of course, I meant I was going west, obviously. I do occasionally forget that this compass is like, it works like a real compass, so there. We'll just have to inch along the sides if we want to get past that last little bit. There we go. Okay. And then obviously it's not level at this end here. Um, and then the path is going to have to go this way. So I'm going to have to kind of carve it out a bit. Whereas I was aiming for here. But of course, the main trouble we've got really, we've got our bridge now. But um, yes. Most of the island's actually off in this direction, so I am probably going to have to change that a little bit, if at all possible, simply because uh, we need it to be a little bit more square on. And our island at the moment, if we just hop into fly mode, our island at the moment <laughs> needs to go off in this direction a little bit more um, in order to be kind of level. But I do like the little sort of... I don't know. I meant these to look natural, but the grass has got a little bit strange on that texture there as well. Um, but yeah, we, we kind of need the island to be sort of a bit more out in this direction. So we've got it a little bit more sort of square. And I think the island is going to need to be a big, bit bigger as well. So uh, unfortunately, we are going to need to use cheat creative mode a little bit more. Um, but hey-ho, as I say, if something's worth doing, it's worth doing well. So, uh, but I will do that off camera, I think. There we go, because uh, that's probably quite enough for one episode. So our bridge is looking quite nice. As I say, we'll place some sort of torches on there at some point. Let's just have a look and see what kind of lights are going to be suitable. We don't have the lighting there. We have lighting in here, I think. Lights, here we go. So torches, we can use wall to torch mounts possibly. Um, torch mounts, wall, garden torches, not really. We're definitely going to have some of those. Oh, yes, we definitely need some of those. Um, but I think... We're possibly going to need some of these on the top of the bridge and then plant torches in them. But for that, we're going to need iron rods. And at the moment, the only iron we've got is these, which I'm going to place in our chest, actually. Oh, I put the chest the wrong way around. Let me just pick that up, actually, and then make sure I place it the correct way around. And it's quite difficult to see. Let me just... Where are you, chest? Which way around is the front? Which is the front? I guess that's the front there. Yeah, that's the back of it. So let's turn that right way around. Here we go. And we'll place it the right way around this time. There we go. And I'm going to place... I've got stone here, and we're mostly going to be using stone to start with. I'm going to put in our ores. And we've got some wood here as well and some lumber so we're going to put all that in there and then if the worst happens and i die i don't quite know what's going to kill me around here but you never know do you we've got a little bit i've got a few of these blocks left which i'm sure we'll manage to use somewhere else in the castle because that's going to be the stone block that we're going to use uh, but off camera i am also going to need to go and do some stone mining so what i might do in point of fact i might start out by mining out 
um, some of the stone on this side here uh, on the bank because we could do with if we're going to make the island bigger we could do with removing some of this uh, land here as well so it's going to be a major bit of landscaping but uh, we're going to do this job right and I think we're going to need a little bit more space than this this is not exactly going to be Carnarvon Castle but it does need to be larger uh, I think than uh, we've got space for at the moment and I would like it to be square on because otherwise it's going to bug me because uh, we can't turn the blocks around they go the way that they go so and as it is we're going to have to carve through the mountain straight ahead actually so that is probably what I should do where did that pig go what I should probably do to mine stuff out oh no I should probably sickle take a sickle to that as well shouldn't I oh not the grass there we go, we've got tomato plants now, I can put those somewhere too. Um, but yeah, what I should probably do is take out some of this stone from right here, because this is going to be where our bridge needs to come through. So this is going to be where I'm going to start getting my resources from. In the meantime, we're going to call that an episode. We have got... A good start going on here. You can see from here that the island does need to go out to the left a bit more as well. But it's a good start otherwise. Um, I'm quite pleased with that bridge. And we're going to carry on in the same vein, I hope. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you like the build so far, do let me know. If you've got any suggestions or tips or anything along those lines, as ever, let me know as well in the comments. Um, hit the like button if you like this video. Remember, that kind of helps us YouTubers out a lot. And, uh, yeah, I do hope you'll join me for the next episode when we will be plotting out the walls of our castle so we can see how big it's going to be um, and where everything is going to be. Um, and then we are going to, after that, we're going to be basically starting out with the smithy because the smithy is the heart of the castle. We're going to need to uh, get our smelting furnace in there and be able to make some iron for ourselves. And we're going to place all our workbenches in there as well. And then from there on, we'll sort of do the other outbuildings and the keep itself and, of course, the exterior walls and all that good stuff. So it's going to be a fair few episodes before we can call this castle finished. Uh, by the time we get there, maybe uh, I'll have thought of a name for it. Unless you guys want to think of a name for our castle. Um, but, uh, yeah, so any of those suggestions, uh, welcome as well. So until the next episode, guys. Keep gaming, keep surviving, stay happy. Bye bye for now. <laughs>